Today, I partnered up with Felix Gray to tackle Holly's office slash dog room, and I've never really shown you guys the behind the scenes of the email chain that I like to do with quote unquote clients. You guys have seen me design inspo boards for my humans, and I'm sure all the DIY interior designers that you know and love show you this process as well, but maybe you haven't seen this. I will start an email chain prior to us actually executing a makeover when I'm obviously collaborating with somebody else, and I will legitimately walk through absolutely everything, making sure they let me know what they really need in the space, what they want that's in their dream world, what can be functional, what can they live without. And I take all their feedback and I ensure that that is what's going into the transformation because again, I'm not living there. This room is actually where Holly keeps Tyson and Vinny. Vinny is a Great Dane Pitbull mix and Tyson is a Boston Terrier and they both are just the best of friends, but this is where she contains the beast. Ever since I did Paul's office, Holly has been completely obsessed with the geometric wall and the blue. She was probably obsessed with it before then, but I think being able to see it and see photos that I could do it made her like, I need that on this wall ASAP. She also loved what I did to Michaela's closet, turning it into an office space because Holly needs a ton of desktop space, if that makes sense, to spread out her work. So she wanted a second place to have things table height and then also to have a couple of shelves for storage. The top priority though for Holly, if we're gonna be honest, as every dog owner's priority should be, is their comfort level. So she bought a memory foam twin mattress that I'm gonna show you how I DIY'd a dog bed, AKA a couch for her Great Dane and Tyson. We're not gonna forget about the Boston either. You guys know the drill by now. I love getting my humans involved and Holly's like the number one. So she cleaned the walls, patched them and painted them while I worked on the builds at home. So by the time she was done painting this room, which we decided to paint the ceiling too, I could just come install and handle everything within about like two days. This was the first time that I've ever painted absolutely everything the same color and I'm completely in love. It is so moody and it is so sexy in my opinion and I'm gonna definitely be trying it more often. I recently made over my office and this light fixture is from my before of my latest office makeover. So I didn't spend any money on this since I've had this for like four years. I moved on by working on the closet, building out the framing for the shelves and the desktop in there. I have a full in-depth tutorial when I did Michaela's closet. So I will link that for you as a card and down below, but I'm not gonna go into too much depth because I've done this so many times on my channel. For the wall that you see through those glass doors from her living room, she wanted that to be the geometric accent wall and I just grabbed some one by twos construction adhesive and my nail gun alongside some clamps and my handsaw and honestly just piece by piece cut it down angle by angle per her drawing on the email which she didn't even realize I was doing that I just wanted her to have a little something special that she designed and didn't even realize she designed. I have a lot of work to do in order to really perfectly tailor a geometric accent wall. This is only my second one and I definitely think angles are not my best friend. They are definitely, uh, no, I just cannot. But I made it work and I filled the cracks with some joint compound, sand it down, and then she painted it overnight for me. As I mentioned earlier, this video is in partnership with Felix Gray and your girl, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these glasses 5 billion times. They have completely saved me and I'm not just saying that. I used to get headaches and just my eyes were always hurting and I've never ever had that in the history of me working on a computer, but I think it's because of honestly how much obviously I'm in front of the screen editing and working. I didn't really know that I needed blue light glasses to be honest. I didn't really think of that as a solution. I know that sounds kind of dumb. So when Felix Gray reached out and I looked into it, I was uh, it was kind of a no brainer. There are a lot of blue light glasses on the market, but they're not all created equal. Many blue light glasses out there don't filter enough blue light, especially in the range that matters. I only I have sunglasses to compare this to because I don't own any other blue light glasses, uh, but you can see from the blue light that they gave me to test it, how much it filters through versus the sunglasses on the left, how it looks exactly how it would if you're just shining it directly onto your skin. Felix Gray is completely different. They use their own proprietary lens technology to filter almost 90% of blue light in most damaging ranges and eliminates 99% of glare. Felix Gray offers free shipping and free returns so you can try them for 30 days. If you want to click the link in the description box down below and browse a bit, I'm sure you'll be able to find something. I personally am in love with the Hamiltons and the gold frames. You will not catch me in front of my computer without wearing them, but you will also catch me wearing them in my Instagram stories because I think I look real cute. So that's just a side note. Thank you so much once again to Felix Gray for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check them out in the link down below, but let's just dive right back into our makeover. 
You guys love this mirror and so does Holly. She wanted a big circle mirror on this wall. So that's exactly what she got. I linked everything that I could down below for you guys. And I'm not going to really show you how I do this gallery wall. Cause I'm going to be doing a part two of DIY office decor and how I actually styled that wall in my brain and tips and tricks behind it. So you're going to have to hold off for that video. Instead of painting the closet's wall, I decided to just glue some cork board onto it, which I'm gonna go into way more depth in that video I was just talking about, but wanted to show you the struggle a little bit that you can look forward to. As I mentioned before, I have an entire tutorial on this. I just decided to cover the framing of the shelves with the thin under laminate that I typically use that is not finished. Uh, so you don't have that crazy glossiness. I wanted a very neutral wood, very flat finish. Underneath was actually really easy to organize. She had poster boards there to kind of uh, prevent Tyson getting to the cords. So I just put her paper shredder in front of it that she requested needed to be in there alongside this filing cabinet that she painted the same exact blue of the room and just decided to move the cords and kind of space the shredder out more towards me to, you know, fake it till we make it. As far as a dog bed goes, it is honestly not that hard of a build. You're gonna cut the plywood down to the size of your mattress. I added a couple of inches just cause I wanted a little bit of a lip on the outside. I sanded this down from a 60, 80, 120 to 220 just to make sure everything was nice and smooth for the dogs. I cut the remainder of the plywood to be the base, if you will, and then cut dowels down to size. I cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dowels and strategically placed them so the plywood wasn't gonna bow out. But there was no need to go crazy for this because it's for the dergs, not for a bunch of humans, you know? I traced where I wanted the legs to go. That way I had a reference when I needed to pre-drill the holes from the bottom up. That way when I go to install and I add the wood glue and it dries, I can just flip it over and then I have those drill marks from the front to go ahead and use my wood screws to secure. I then secured those skinnier strips of plywood underneath the base to cover up where those legs are to give a platform couch illusion and I just used my nail gun for that. Jamal put the mattress right on top of it. Holly added the gray sheet she wanted and then we added another sheet on top of that because we needed to do final shots still, but we wanted to see what the dogs thought of it, which they're very excited about. And even Holly later said they would typically be like begging while they were eating and they were just chilling on the bed, not even giving a care. All I had to do was add the remaining final touches like family photos and decor that I had on hand and then pulling some trays and just things that can add some texture and a pop of green with the fake plants and voila. Two things, number one, I definitely need to add more one by twos, like design wise to the left of that geometric wall. I definitely thought the gallery wall would pull away from it, but I think I need to add more. Number two, this is all gonna look so much different once we do the hardwood throughout the entire house, which you guys have heard me talk about a million times, but it will get done. All in all, I am completely in love with this transformation. I think we really utilize the space in a smart way that incorporates Holly and her dogs being in there 24 seven. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. There are a couple of DIYs that I fully did not mention in this video, as I said before, because I'm gonna go into depth in another tutorial. One of them being my most favorite is this pin board, but there is a story behind it. And I cannot wait to share that video with you guys. Thank you so much to Felix Gray for sponsoring today's video. And thank you to you guys for your patience, love and support throughout these weird two weeks where I wasn't posting. I have a lot of content coming your way. I hope that you guys enjoy it and I hope that this brought a little bit of light to your day. I will see you soon with another DIY.